little overview of the previous uh, topic yesterday's topic this was about the gravitational potential energy and what we discussed was that it is the energy possessed by an object due to the its position in the gravitational field this was gravitational potential energy if we move an object at a certain height the force that is acting is the weight so if we multiply weight with the height what happens is that gives us mg delta h and this mg delta h is in fact the gravitational potential energy also, uh, we discussed that, that there's a change in gravitational potential energy and the change in gravitational potential energy is the difference between the potential energies at two different points. We get this is point one and this is point two. We get mg delta h. We also discussed that even though if we have an object and it goes on like this, we have to take the vertical height always. For example, if we have the displacement like this, this is s. This height is going to be S sine theta. S sine theta, right? This is S sine theta. And we also discussed that, that the, the work done is equal to, uh, M, since work done is mg delta h and the gravitational potential energy is this, we can replace this delta h with S sine theta. We also took, talked about the, the, we take the vertical height when calculating the gravitational potential energy. And it is always a relative thing. It's not a absolute thing. Kal mein ek cheez batai thi ke agar aapke paas ek object hai aur aap usko slope pe move karwa rahe hain kisi cheez pe bhi move karwa rahe hain aur wo ek kuch height gain karta hai theek hai is height se is height pe jata hai to hoga kya ke jo total energy hai point A pe jo total energy hai point A pe wo total energy equal hogi point B ke total energy A pe jo hai that is Ep at A plus Ek at A, which is the kinetic energy at A, is equal to the gravitational potential energy at B plus the kinetic energy at B. So this gives us MgHA plus half MvA square is equal to MgHB plus half MvB square. And you should know that, that Ep here is the gravitational potential energy and Ek here is the kinetic energy. So this was our yesterday's lecture. And uh, uh, let's do a couple of questions before we move ahead. because uh, it has a lot of questions on this concept. You have a bead which is released from rest at point P and it slides along a wire as shown. The track loops around and forms a vertical circle of diameter of 40 centimeters, right? It forms a diameter of 40 centimeters. As you can see here, at point Q, the bead has a speed of 1.4. At this point, it has a speed of... Air resistance and friction on the wire are negligible. What is the height H from which the bead is released? If you look closely, this is point A, for example, this is point B, for example. P or Q. The total energy at P is equal to total energy at Q. Total energy at P must be equal to total energy at Q. P pe total energy mg. H A plus half M V A square is equal to M G H B plus half M V B square. M G H B agar aap work kare, to mass aapke paas hai M. G is 9.81. H is H that you need to calculate. So ye rest se release hua. Because it is release. Release ka matlab hai. Dekho, so rest ka hai diya. Rest ka matlab hai ke iski velocity zero hai. So this is zero. And now at this point, the height is 40 centimeters, right? So you have mg hb, right? We can write it as 0 0.4 meters plus half m vb square. I take m common, this is 9 point. Usne pe velocity ka de 1.4. This is 0.4 meters. One point four whole square, right? Now you can take m common on both sides. This is nine point eight one h is equal to what? You take m common here. 
this is g into 0 0.4 plus 0.5 into 1.4 whole square isko jab aap solve karenge to aapke paas h ki value aa jayegi ab aapne sirf solve karna hai sir and the boy the answer is c ye usne kaha hua hai ki point x is a height of 0.4 meter above point y the speed of point x is 2.5 usne khud bata diya aapke paas yahan pe speed 2.5 hai aur frictional forces are negligible what is the speed of the ball at point y हम लोग यहाँ पे लिखेंगे एम जी एच ए प्लस हाफ एम बी ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एम जी एच बी प्लस हाफ एम वी बी स्क्वायर तो यहाँ पे आपके पास जो एम है जी है एच ए आपके पास जो था वो पॉइंट फोर है ठीक है और यहाँ पे आपके पास एम जो है वो उसी तरह से ये वी ए क्या होगा टू पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वायर ठीक है जी is equal to mghb mghb mein a zero hai this goes to zero plus 1 over 2 mvb is you have to calculate that square so now you have g into 0.4 plus g uh, 2.5 into 2.5 whole square into 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2 into vb whole square Now, once you do the maths, you will be able to find that the answer is C. Okay, let's talk about the thing when friction is involved. You will write here that total energy conversion when friction is involved acha ji aapke paas for example yahan pe ye ek slope hai like this theek hai ji ye aapke paas ek frictionless slope nahi hai yahan pe friction involved hai it gets a rough slope this one is a a rough slope here right whenever we have rough that means that there is friction remember that theek hai acha yahan pe jo velocity hai that is va aur ye jo height hai aapke paas ye hai isko main h keh deta hu ye jab ye particle upar jayega to jab ye ja raha hoga to there would be friction in this direction and the it will oppose the motion of the object and also there's another thing here that this displacement is s this displacement that we have is s here right theek hai acha ye jo point hai yahan pe yahan pe ye ye isko hum vb kehte hain theek hai this is vb acha ye rough rough slope ka matlab hai ki friction is involved by all means if the friction is involved and if this height is hb this was ha this is hb you should know that the, the total energy at a should be equal to what total energy at at b and now what's going to happen is that the gravitational potential energy at a ep at a plus ek at a minus dekhiye kuch work done against friction hoga wo loss hoga as heat kyunki jab aap upar yahan pe pahunchenge to wo baki ki energy jo reh jayegi wo aayegi matlab kuch to heat se loss ho gaya to minus this is work done against friction work done against friction is equal to ep at b plus ek at b ye wahi baat hai ki agar aapke paas yahan pe 100 energy thi usme se agar aap 20 joules minus kar dein jo heat pe chali gayi to piche aapke paas 80 reh jayegi to you should know that what happened here that the energy is is dissipated as heat here 
ठीक है एंड वी वी गेट द फॉर्मूला वेन द फ्रिक्शन इज इन वर्ल्ड वी गेट द फॉर्मूला एम जी एच ए प्लस हाफ एम वी ए स्क्वायर माइनस वर्क डन अगेंस्ट फ्रिक्शन Is equal to mg. अच्छा वर्क डन अगेंस्ट फ्रिक्शन को हम कैसे लिखेंगे f into d, f into s, frictional force into s. This is the work done against friction. मैं इसको लेबल कर देता हूँ. This is the work done against friction. This is mghb plus half m v b square. There we go. And uh, let's let's do a question on this. You have been given a truck of mass five hundred kilograms, which moves from rest at the top of a section of a track four hundred meters long, and three thirty meters high. The frictional force acting on the truck is two fifty newton throughout its journey. Throughout its journey, the frictional force is acting as two uh, fifty newton. What is the final speed of the truck? Actually, what you're going to do is you have here. The at the top point, this has a mass of five hundred. It moves from rest at the top of the section of track, four hundred meter long and thirty meters high. The frictional force acting on the truck is two fifty newton throughout its journey. What is the final speed of the truck? You have uh, EP at A plus EK at A minus work done against friction is equal to EP at B plus EK at B. ऐसे ही अच्छा EP at A कैसे निकालेंगे M This is 500. G is 9.81. H A is 30. ठीक है. Rest से start हो रहा है तो kinetic energy zero है. This goes to zero. Minus work done against friction. आपके पास frictional force 250 newton है. और distance कितना है 400. Frictional force देखें ये थी और distance था 400. अच्छा इस point पे जो gravitational potential energy है that is zero. That is going to be Zero because it is at the lowest point of its fall. It's at the lowest point. Here, it is zero. Gravitational, gravitational potential energy plus half m is five hundred and v square. Now, just do the maths, and you'll be able to get your answer. That is a. A trolley runs from P to Q along a track at Q. Its potential energy is fifty kilojoule less. मतलब अगर potential energy इसकी x है तो x माइनस फिफ्टी होगी यहाँ पे पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ठीक है यहाँ पे पोटेंशियल एनर्जी अगर x है तो यहाँ पे पोटेंशियल एनर्जी q पे क्या होगी x माइनस फिफ्टी कैनेडिक एनर्जी उसने दी हुई है तो अब पोटेंशियल एनर्जी x है यहाँ पे कैनेडिक एनर्जी फाइव है ठीक है माइनस वर्ग एन एस टेक्शन इज टेन इज इक्वल टू द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एक्स माइनस फिफ्टी And kinetic energy you need to find. That is something that you need to find. Now, this is x minus five minus fifty. This x is going to cancel with this x. You do jaga minus ho jaga. You do jaga plus forty five answer on forty five kilojoules. Right. Is tarah se aap logon isko jo hai wo karna. I hope this is clear. आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कि अगर आप एक ऑब्जेक्ट को एयर में थ्रो करें और उसका ग्राफ अगर आप पोटेंशियल एनर्जी का विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एच बनाए तो वो कैसा बनेगा इफ यू हैव एन ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज थ्रोन इनटू द एयर इज थ्रोन इनटू द एयर एंड दे आस्क यू टू प्लॉट अ ग्राफ ऑफ द Potential energy with respect to H. So, if you have E P on the y-axis, and if you have H on the x-axis, what sort of graph are you going to get? So, आपके पास ये ऊपर आप जा रहे हैं height तो straight line height is since that is equal to m g h you get a straight line like this. Question number seventeen. This one, ये देखें. 
क्या आंसर होगा इसका आप ये लोग कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं इसमें कह होगा या वो होगा अगर एज के साथ है तो स्ट्रेट लाइन तो आंसर इज ए शेयर है ये सबको there's another thing that you should know and that is if a ball is moving at a constant speed in oil and you want to draw the graph of kinetic energy and its potential energy a ball is moving at a constant speed in oil the object is moving at a constant speed in oil and you have energy here and you have time here this is energy and you have time here is the graph kaisa banega first speed kinetic energy ka graph bhi aapne isi mein banana hai aur aapne potential energy ka graph bhi isi mein banana hai matlab koi fluid hai ऊपर से नीचे जा रहा है पोटेंशियल एनर्जी आएगा इस तरह से जब बहुत टाइम आगे चला जाए अभी मूव कर रहा है स्पीड से और कैनेटिक एनर्जी का ग्राफ आएगा ये स्ट्रेट लाइन दिस इज ई के एंड दिस इज द ग्राफ ऑफ ई के दिस इज द सॉर्ट ऑफ ग्राफ दैट यू वुड एक्सपेक्ट 